So welcome to another session of the pharmacology series. So today the topic of my discussion will be about the mnemonics as to how we can very easily remember the antihypertensive drugs. So the classification of the antihypertensive drugs becomes very cumbersome to remember and it becomes students mostly they feel very difficulty in remembering about the classification of the drugs what are used as antihypertensives. So in this video, I'll be talking of the classification of the antihypertensive drugs and the mnemonic. So the mnemonic what I have made just to remember easily about the classification of the antihypertensive drugs can be seen in the form of the alphabetical order that is the first alphabets of the English letter, English alphabets that is A, B, C and D where every letter of the alphabet is going to depict about one of the classes of the drugs what are used as antihypertensives. So viewers, the antihypertensive drugs can be better remembered in the exams just by looking at the alphabets a, B, C and D where every alphabet is going to correspond to the one of the classes of the drugs. So beginning with the first A, the mnemonic is A, B, C and D. So the first A of the antihypertensives is going to correspond to the ACE inhibitors. So students out there, I would like to make it very clear to you. So if the students, if you are very easily forgetting about as to what are the drugs, what are the medicines, what are included in the ACE inhibitors. Just remember the mnemonic, just remember the code word that is PRIL. Alright, so all the medicines what are going to belong to the ACE inhibitors, they are going to have in their ending, that is in their suffix, they will be ending with the word PRIL. That is P-R-I-L. So the examples, the very famous and the very common examples include the Ramipril, the Inalapril and the Captopril. Now moving on to the next A. So since in the alphabet A, we are going to have the three subgroups. That is the ACE inhibitors, the angiotensin antagonists and the alpha adrenergic blockers. So the first A already we have discussed. Moving on to the next A. The second A refers to the angiotensin antagonists. So this forms another very important class of the antihypertensive drugs what are used in the treatment of hypertension. And again the mnemonic if the students most likely students are forgetting about as to what are the drugs what come under the angiotensin antagonists. So the again the mnemonic what I have made over here if students you are forgetting about as to what are the angiotensin antagonists you can just remember the initial that is AN of the angio, AN of the antagonist and the suffix tan tan. So the mnemonic what I have made is an, an and tan. So just what just make this point very clear in your brain as to the angiotensin antagonist that is AN of the angiotensin, AN of the antagonist and the drugs what are included in this category they will be ending with the suffix TAN. So the angiotensin antagonists are going to have their suffix ending in TAN. So the most common the very famous examples of such drugs include the losartan and the candysartan. Now moving on to the next A of the alphabetical series that is the alpha adrenergic blockers. Now students, particularly the Indian students what who are listening, the mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember about the very famous drug of the alpha adrenergic blockers include the prazosin and the fentolamine. So again students out there, I would make this point very easy for you as to how we can very easily remember about what are the drugs what come under the alpha adrenergic blockers. Again the mnemonic or the short trick what I have made is Praji. So Praji in a Punjabi language it is called as the elder brother. It refers to an elder brother. So again the Praji if you just remember you can make out as to what is the drug of the alpha adrenergic blockers because the Praji that is Pra of the Prazosin the pra of the prazosin refers to the praji. So just praji, if you remember, you can very easily make out as to what are the alpha adrenergic blockers. And the very famous example of such a compound is prazosin and the fentolamine. So the first alphabet that is A we have covered here. 
Now moving on to the next alphabet that is B. So the mnemonic, the next alphabet B refers to the beta adrenergic blockers. So students, this are the, the beta blockers come under this category. The first the class of the compound which comes under the alphabet the B refers to the beta adrenergic blockers and this comprises of the very famous drugs what are used in the treatment of hypertension the very famous drugs what are used widely in the treatment of hypertension are the beta blockers so the beta blockers the very famous examples include the propanolol the nadolol the timolol and the etinolol so these are the very famous drugs what are used in the treatment of hypertension and again students if you find it very difficult to remember as to what are the beta adrenergic blockers or the beta blockers just remember the term lol. So beta blockers, they all will be ending with the suffix lol. All right, students, every beta blocker is going to have the suffix lol. Now moving on to the next B. So actually it is alpha plus beta adrenergic blockers. So since the mnemonic I have to show, so I had made it beta plus alpha adrenergic blockers, both mean the same. So under this class, the very famous example of this uh, such a drug is the levitolol. So uh, students out there, the B alphabet, all are ending with the suffix lol, 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 whether it be propanolol, nadolol, timolol, etinolol, and the levitolol. So students out there, remember the B alphabet refers to all the class, all the drugs which are having their suffix ending with lol. Now, B we have completed. Moving on to the next C alphabetical series from the alphabet C. Now the C letter refers to the calcium channel blockers. So students out there, the third class of the drugs what are widely used in the treatment of hypertension are the calcium channel blockers. So under this category, the very famous drugs what are there include the verapamil, the diltiazam, diltiazam and the nifedipine. So the calcium channel blockers, they are Verapamil, diltiazam, and nifedipine, they are also widely used in the treatment of hypertension. Now, the next C, the second class of this from the alphabet C, we can make out the central sympatholytics. So, the central sympatholytics refers to the very common examples of such a class as the clonidine and the methyl dopa. So, students, again, we have covered the alphabet A, B, C, and D. So, students, is it simpler? In this way, we can very easily remember about the classification. Now, moving on to the next alphabet, that is D. So, D refers to the diuretics. I, have, I forgot to mention about it. So, D here refers to the classes of the drugs which are diuretics. D refers to the diuretics. And students out there, you very well remember that the diuretics, they are classified, again classified into three classes. That is the thiazides, the high ceiling diuretics, and the potassium sparing diuretics. So students, the diuretics also play a very significant role in the uh, reducing the hypertension. And so they are also used in the treatment of hypertensive patients. So again, the diuretics, what are there? Again, they can be classified into three categories. That is the first class is the thiazides, which includes the very famous examples include the hydrochlorothiazide and the indapamide. Next, moving on to the high ceiling diuretics. So high ceiling diuretics, the very famous example is the frusimide or the furosemide, what, whatever the term is there. Next, moving on to the third class of the diuretics is the potassium sparing diuretic. And the very famous example of the potassium sparing diuretic is the spirinolactone. So students out there, I would have made the mnemonic of the classification of the antihypertensive drugs at least such classes of the compounds in the very simple mnemonic in the form of A, B, C and D. And this mnemonic A, B and C and D can help you to remember the classes of the drugs what are used in the treatment of, in the treatment of hypertension. So another one, one class of compounds I'm missing over here that doesn't come under the mnemonic, it refers to the vasodilators. So the vasodilators, they also play a very significant role in the treatment of hypertension. So these vasodilators includes the basically two varieties, that is the arterial, arteriolar vasodilators and the arteriolar and mm, the venous vasodilators they are used. 
So students, this was my mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember about the classification of the antihypertensive drugs. So students, if you do like my video, don't forget to like my video, subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay further connected about my newer videos. Thank you for watching.